VMware vCenter Converter Standalone provides a solution that automates the process of creating VMware virtual machines from physical machines running Windows and Linux. The Converter Standalone application consists of Converter Standalone Server, Converter Standalone Worker, Converter Standalone Client, and Converter Standalone Agent. Installation tasks can be done using the below three methods. You can perform a local installation on Windows. Also, you can use a client-server installation in Windows. Another method is you can use command-line installation in Windows. This lab session will discuss how to install, configure, and manage the vCenter Converter Standalone, installed on local Windows computer. Before starting the lab session, we need to identify the process of VMware Converter Standalone. In Stage 1 Converter Standalone prepares the source machine for the conversion. After that, Converter Standalone installs the agent on the source machine and the agent takes a snapshot of the source volumes. In the second stage, Converter Standalone prepares the virtual machine on the destination host. Then agent copies volumes from the source machine to the destination machine. The final stage the agent installs the drivers required for the operating system and personalizes the virtual machine. Optionally you can configure uninstalls the agent from the source machine. This is today's lab setup. We will convert Windows-based physical server into a virtual machine running on ESXi host. Welcome to Global Technology Options Knowledge Sharing Sessions. Download the latest version of Converter Standalone from the VMware website. Double-click the setup file. Accept End User License Agreement. Select the location to install Converter Standalone and click Next. Select Local Installation and click Next. If you want to join the Customer Experience Improvement Program, you can select the checkbox and click Next. Then click Install. Click Finish to complete. Open VMware vCenter Converter Standalone. I will log in to my target ESXi as well. Click the Convert Machine tab in VMware Converter Standalone and insert source system details. In this lab session, we will convert the power on Windows machine to the VMware Infrastructure Virtual Machine. Insert the source machine IP address and administrator credentials. Please make sure, the management PC can communicate with the source machine and also the destination host. Click Next to continue. In this stage, Converter Standalone prepares the source machine for the conversion. Converter Standalone installs the agent on the source machine, and the agent takes a snapshot of the source volumes. If you select the automatic option, Converter Standalone uninstalls the agent from the source machine after completing the conversion. 
I will select the destination as VMware infrastructure and insert destination host IP details and root credentials. If you like, you can select the use proxy mode checkbox. If the proxy mode feature is off, the data traffic passes from the source machine directly to the destination server. If the proxy mode feature is on, the data traffic passes from the source machine through the converter standalone server to the destination server. Ignore the certificate warning. Now you can modify the name of new VM created from the physical machine. This stage you can select the destination location. I will select data store 1 as the location for the new VM. If you insert the source as vCenter server, you will get all available hosts and data stores in the existing infrastructure. In this interface, you can modify the hardware configuration of new VM. Please note, we will convert the physical machine to a virtual machine. So original hard disk is identified as thick provision. If you need a thin provision desk on the virtual machine, you need to change the disk type from thick to thin in advanced options. Review the summary tab and click finish. In this stage, Converter Standalone creates a virtual machine on the destination. You can see the new VM created on ESXi host. Then agent starts to copy volumes from the source machine to the destination machine. The virtual machine is ready to run on the destination server. Let's meet with another session next time. Watch, like, and subscribe to my channel and Facebook page for more exciting sessions.